In today's video, we're talking about tracking habits in Notion. And this is going to be a video that one, will showcase how I'm tracking my habits. And then two, on top of that, I'm also gonna show you how to build a version of this in today's video so that you can take this and work with it. And this is actually a feature handpicked out of my paid productive brain template. So if you want the overall template, you can find the link in the top pinned comment or in the description. But if you just want to build this habit tracker, I think that this video will be for you because you can watch through, you can learn how I build it and you can implement it in your own notion system. I'm going to give you this step by step right after I showcase how this thing works. So let's jump into it. This is my productive brain. That's what I call it kind of based on the second brain methodology uh, that Tiago Forte made popular. There's lots of other elements in here like GTD, getting things done. I really like this system. It's really sort of tailored to me, but I found that hundreds of other people enjoy this system as well. And they're getting a lot of yield, a lot of benefit and a lot of leverage from using this system. And here's why, you know, I could talk about the to-do list that populates for the day. As you can see, my pride one right now is how I track habits in Notion. And this is what I'm working on at the very moment, but we're not talking about the to-do list. I will save that for another video. What we're talking about today is habits and metrics. Okay, you'll notice that March 13th is at the forefront right here. It's the first thing that I see when I log in pretty much, right? I see my tasks for the day and then boom, I see my March 13th habits. So I don't have to go searching through some crazy long database. I can just look right here at my Notion account and it's going to pull into day's habits. I've already checked off workout and I'm working on finishing my water right now. But once I'm done with my water, I will check drink 60 plus ounces of water as complete. And then at the end of the day, I'm gonna go through my processing and planning routine to make sure that I'm ready for the next day and I'll check that off as well. Now, the nice thing and the thing that I like particularly about Notion is that we can track different metrics like this, my readiness score, my sleep score, my sleep hours, and I can even journal some of the things that went well and some of the things that went poorly for that day. So this is something that I'm actually working on in the background right now, and that is creating my own personal connection between the Aura Ring API and Notion. Now. The Aura Ring is this ring right here. It's a sleep tracking device and it's a very intuitive sleep tracking device. I've made lots of videos on this actually, but you don't really have to do much. You just keep it right on your finger and it does all the tracking for you. When you go to sleep at night, it tracks your temperature, it tracks your heart rate, it tracks your heart rate variability, your sleep stages, all sorts of different cool metrics that I wanna see right here in Notion. So right now I have to enter these manually, but once the API integration is created in the back end, which like I said, I have to hire a developer to actually build this for me because I've tried connecting it myself and by no means am I a software developer. So this is something that I'm gonna offload to somebody else to help me figure out. But nevertheless, it is a way to track on a daily basis my readiness score, my sleep score and my sleep hours. I just wanna show you an example of what it's like to enter this because I haven't yet entered it for today. This is my Aura Ring app where I see what that ring is talking about. And here I can see my readiness and my sleep score. Sorry about the fingerprints on my screen, but I can see my readiness, my sleep score and my hours of sleep here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to quickly enter my readiness score of 75. I'm going to enter my sleep score of 74 and I'm going to enter my sleep hours of six hours and 20 minutes or six hours and 19 minutes. So what I'm gonna do is just quickly hit slash and we're gonna ask AI because I don't know how to convert this. So I'm just gonna go convert six hours and 19 minutes to a decimal. And then I'm going to hit this button here and AI will do it for me. So it just tells me 6.32. I can copy that and we can pop it in right up here. And then here we have highs and lows. So I can just quickly tap into these different sections and I can type in something that went well in terms of highs and then something that went poorly in lows if I want to. This is optional. I don't do it every single day, 
But in the future, I kind of envision creating a word cloud. I don't know if you've ever seen those, but a word cloud where the words that I use most frequently are bigger. The words that I don't use as much are smaller, but I want to be able to see like a word cloud for different time periods in my life. So let's say 2023, what was the common word used in the high box or what was the common word used in the low box where highs might have productivity or God or family or workout. And I can start to notice those trends in the words. So that's why I'm taking these notes down. It's not that I look back at them all that often, but I want to have the data and I want to have those different key points that made for a good day and those key points that made for a not so good day right here. I'm going to check these back off because I haven't completed those for today yet, but from here, I can go to my reflect page and I can sort of open up these different sections to look back at my archives. So if I hit all archives, I can see that it's sorted out based on all the months that I've been using this system thus far. So these are my actions. It tells me how many actions I've taken and it also allows me to use this drop down here to see everything and I'll have this blurred out. But if I open up Q1 month one, as you can see, we have all of my actions here and the related goal, what type of priority level it was. But what we're focused on right now is metrics and habits. So if I click on metrics and habits, I can also see this based on the quarter and the month. So for 2022, quarter four, month 12, I can open that up so I can see December of last year and I can see all of my stats that I logged here along with all of the days that I checked process and plan, work out 45 plus minutes and drink 60 ounces of water. And then at the bottom here, I can get some sums, some averages, or just an overall percentage of how many days I completed these different habits that I wanted to complete. So this system is great. I'm actually going to show you how to build this right now so that you can implement this in your Notion workspace. But like I said, if you want this entire template, use the link in the description below. If you're a student, you can also read the FAQs on how to claim a student discount for this template. And I hope it helps you guys out. I know it's already helping hundreds of people out, but for those of you who just wanna learn how to build the habit tracker portion of this template, stick around and we're gonna jump into it right now. All right, now I'm going to jump in how to create this habit tracker within Notion for your own workspace. So the first thing that you're going to need is a database like this. So this is a full page database. In order to create this, you just create a new page and then you select table. And then we're just going to create two properties. We're gonna create a day property and a date property. And to create properties, you just hit this plus button and you can select date. Okay, so I've named the name column day and the date column date. Next, we're going to go to date pop, which is a tool you can find uh, just by typing in date pop and it's notioninvoice.com. So notioninvoice.com slash date pop. And what we're going to do is we're just going to pick the range. So if you want to do this for the entire year, then you can do it for a whole year or you can set a custom. And what I'm going to go with is just rest of this year. I'm going to go one day per row and I'm going to select my notion database here. I'm going to hit select pages and I'm going to find my days tutorial page then I'm going to allow access. And then it's going to ask where I wanna fill the dates in. So I'm gonna select title and one date property. So now I have to decide how I want this to show up, select a date format for the title. So I'm just gonna go with this first one here, first of March, 2022, I like that format. So day, month, year, I'm gonna hit continue. And what we're gonna do next is just head back over to Notion and as you can see, it's now populating in these days. I can go ahead and delete these top ones and it's just going to continue adding these days. It may take a little bit of time for them to be added in here, but this is a quick method for doing this where you don't have to fill this out manually. All right, so this is just finally rounding out and there we have it, March 13th. This is the current day, so now it is added all of the days for 2023 from today on. And this took about five minutes. So the next step for this habit tracker is to just hit the plus button here and type in check and you can select checkbox, just hit enter. And we're going to click into this checkbox and we're gonna name it whatever we want this habit to be. So if we want it to be workout for 45 plus minutes, we can enter that. 
And then we can add another checkbox and we'll just call this one drink X amount of water, hit enter. And now we have these checkboxes. I can also hit plus and create a number property here. And I can quickly create a number based goal. So I could enter water like how many ounces of water if I wanted to as well. So that's another option for how to enter that. So if I wanted to, I could just type in 60 or I could type in 78, however many ounces of water I drank. If you want to, at this point, you can go to the bottom of the screen all the way down to where you can calculate and you can calculate based on sum or based on average. I just like average for this because then if I enter, let's say 70 here and I enter 60 here, I'm going to get an average at the very bottom that looks at all of these different data points and just averages it out to how many ounces of water I drink per day. And here on these check boxes, I like to go percentage checked. So percent checked, percent checked. And then as I check these off throughout the year, the percentage check is going to change down here. As you can see, it's a very small percentage right now because I don't have a ton of these checked. But as I check more of these days, this checked percentage is going to increase. Now, what if I just want to see today like I have in my Productive Brain 2.0 template? Well, this is how you do it. We're going to have a separate page and you can call this home page and it could have your to-do list right here, let's imagine. And then maybe it has a quick capture form. So maybe you have these two things going on similar to my Productive Brain. And then below this, let's say you want to add habits. So what you do is you just hit slash and you type in create. And you're going to click on linked view of database. Okay, click on that and then find your days database. Click it. We're going to go ahead and hide the database title. We're going to click on these three dots here, change the layout to gallery. And now that we're on gallery, we're seeing our days and we can change the card size to small from here. And what I recommend is just going and turning on the properties that you want to see. So these are the check boxes I'm going to turn on. And now this is doing a pretty good job, but I just want to see today. So I'm going to click on these three dots and I'm going to go down to filter. And now I'm going to go to date. And here we can select how many days we want to see. We can see just this week or we can see just this day if we want to. So now that it's on this day, it's just going to show me today. and this is basically how you would do this. So now I can check these off and then tomorrow I can come back and this will say 14th of March and it will show me my empty check boxes. If I want to, I can always come back to my master database and I can see how many days I've checked off and I can get my stats down here. You would do a similar setup for metrics, like how many ounces of water did I drink? The only difference is for metrics, you're just going to hit slash create. We're going to hit linked view of database and this one is going to be a table view and I'm going to hide the title once again and we're going to use that same filter filter date this day and boom now we have the table view and if you just want to see this you can just hide everything else so hide in view hide in view and you can even hide the date in view because we have the day right here. And then we don't need the average because this is only going to show us today. So now we have our checklist items, our habits for the day. And we also have metrics for the day. And you can add as many of these numbered metrics that you want here. And then I recommend just changing the name of this view. So we can call this habits. We can call this metrics. And every day when we come in here, this is going to dynamically update for us. I hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like this video, subscribe if you wanna see more content just like this and comment below if you have any feedback. I try to read through those as much as possible. Nowadays, it does get a bit challenging as I've uploaded nearly 100 Notion videos now. So if you need more help with Notion, check out my Notion playlist. That'd be a great place to go next.